Let's get some work done today. Open up, you open up. Hit you on baby M. We should be closer than friends. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna to be taking these out. I'm gonna show you how I take out my braids and then I'm going to also talk to you guys a little bit about some new products that I have. This Cream of Nature's Mango and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo for dehydrated hair. And we're gonna try this guy as a mask today and we'll see how all this goes. So when I take out my braids, I cut them. Usually I'll cut them a little higher, but I got a little bit of time because I'm off tomorrow. So I'm gonna cut them somewhere safe. Um, I had already cut them. Then I realized I played myself and I could cut them like at least another five inches. So I'm gonna cut them again. And then um, I will show you how I use this to detangle my hair after I take out these braids. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just Going section by section, I did the nape of my neck first, then I moved up to uh, the apex air. Is it the apex? I'll insert the name of it, but I moved to the lump of my head. Then I move up to the crown, and then I'll do the sides and the t like the you know this this top section here, the front of my head. Um, and what I do is I unbraid each braid. And then I try to just take it apart, and then I use the pre-poo to assist in my detangling process. And the reason that I do that is so that when it's time to wash it, it's a lot easier. Um, my hair is more manageable. I did use a lot of product this time. I used the Edge Booster, and um, I really like that product and i thought that it made my braids last longer usually i'll take my braids out between four and five weeks i had these braids in for about six weeks and so it was just time um it was time um i have no excuse everyone that hasn't been getting their hair done cannot do their own hair and their hairstylist obviously is not working during the stay in shelter in place stay at home stay safe quarantine of it all and so, um, because of that, I cannot walk around looking crazy because I don't have that problem. I can do my own hair. So, I'm going to stop being lazy, which I wasn't really being lazy. I was working a lot. And I still am working a lot. But I've managed to control my schedule enough to be off on two days a week. And so, I may work crazy hours the rest of the week. But for those two days that I'm off, I will do my hair, I will do self-care, I will do job interviews, whatever it is I need to do. And that's that on that. I will be back when I get to the front and I'll show you how I detangle an entire section. And that'll be that. I'm back. Okay, so this is the final section. This is what it's looking like after I took out the braids. I have... A shedding problem I've always had a shedding problem um I'm gonna show you how much my hair shed after we do this section so what I do is I take my little misty bottle and I just give it a little a, a, a little mist and then I take my moisture miracle pre poo Sometimes I start at the root, sometimes I start at the ends. Um, starting at the ends makes it easier to detangle. Starting at the root gives you better coverage. So, you know, pick one. So this is, I don't know if you can see. There's like hair everywhere. My hair sheds so much. And I am a, I like it, you know, deep, deep inside in my roots. So. I'm generous with how much I use. It's like $4, guys. Be generous. Do you see the shine and definition? 
and that's uh, it's still a little tangled but that's because I you know I still have some work to do I will say that I recognize and realize and appreciate and love my hair did grow and this ball right here is five six weeks worth of shed hair we're still working on cutting this down because it's still damaged and dead so I've been doing that so I'm gonna leave this in for another probably 15 20 minutes um, just so that it gets the same love and tenderness that all the other sections got and then I am going to wash my hair with the cream of nature and I'll be back to tell you guys how I feel about the cream of nature and we will apply the leave-in condition not the leave-in the mask together because that has to stay in so I'm going to use my hot head and we'll talk about that then I am back ciao Woo. this right here <laughs> this thing right here supposed to be ultra moisturizing certified natural ingredients shea mango there's fragrance in here and the fragrance, fragrance smells good there's fruit oils in here um there's some alcohol but you know we make it work and there's some color like yellow six and red four is in there but baby moisturizing absolutely remember the tips of my hair have color in them you can kind of see it right here it's not the same color as inside so that's causing a lot of the breakage that I'm experiencing and so I need that moisture to be put back into my hair and one day I'll be bold enough to cut off all the color because gross Okay, so now we're going into the Emerge Back to Life Hair Mask for Curly Coily texture, Textures, Deep Condition, and Revive. Smells like flowers. Ooh, she, she not heavy, thick, 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 but she's like medium thick. I'm not sectioning her because I don't have time. Um, but I'm going to start in the back. So far, it feels really good. It's nice and creamy. And like I said, I'm going to be putting my hot head on. So what I do, I don't remember the instructions for the hot head, but how I use it is I put the hot head in the microwave for a minute and 40 seconds. And then I uh, place a plastic cap over my hair and put the hot head on over the cap i haven't done it in a while just because i hate washing my hair in the shower and then getting out and then having to go back in i, I hate it so i haven't done it in a while um but i should have been doing it all along so this is that let me tell you so far this is thick and creamy and it feels amazing so far i have no complaints and we will see you know what the end results are I may have used entirely too much, but she's thick and she just feels so good on my hair. Now, I just want to make sure that she's penetrating and we will see what the end will be. Amen? Amen. Okay, so this is the hot head that I chose. It's the cheetah print, um, obviously. I love animal print. Y'all see my pillows? zebra print like this is what I do so anyway um taking this off it's so heavy and then I'm gonna take this off this stayed hot for over a half hour I think I told you that I put it in the microwave for a minute and 40 seconds and it stayed hot for quite some time baby <laughs> My hair is so soft. Like, I'm gonna massage my scalp. 
I'm just a little bit just to get it you know just to get the juices flowing but I'm pretty sure that that Emerge which is sold exclusively at Target by the way and when I went into Target looking for I think I went in there looking for paper towels and I came out with at least three hair products don't judge me in the words of Tyrell Terrell Grice, don't judge me, judge your mama. Um, wow. When I tell y'all my hair is soft, I wish you could see what I'm feeling because it's soft. I'm going to go rinse this out, and when I come back, we are going to try the TGIN. baby <laughs> it just feels so good <laughs> we're gonna try the tgin uh styling gel <sighs> wow all right i'm not big on washing my hair out cold i don't care what kind of shine it will give you i don't like to do that but i did it okay now my scalp, I got this thing where my scalp itches, but there's no dandruff. And I promise as soon as I get some insurance, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Um, because I went to school for too long to play around with an itchy scalp when I know there's medicated things that can make it not itch. I just want y'all to peep what she's looking like let the record show i'm using the cushions of my fingers i'm not scratching my head i'm using the cushions of my fingers because these cushions possess a power that will give you the same sensation as scratching your head without pulling up all of your skin possibly making you bleed now i'm going to take My white coat tone. I'm going to take my white tooth comb and I am going to do a brief detangling. I have a lot of shedding, y'all. My favorite leave in, and I am going to apply it and let it marinate okay i'm sure if you've watched any of my videos before you know why i do this and i'm sure if you watch any of the videos of the people that i follow you know why we do this a leave-in conditioner is still a conditioner we need to let it do its job even the best conditioners need to sit for two to five minutes even the worst conditioners need to sit for two to five minutes, right? So we're just gonna distribute this throughout my hair. And this is the part that I've been praying for, where there's no shedding. So what I'm gonna do now is detangle this quickly which I'm going to do off camera, and then I'm going to put my cap on for a few minutes, and I'll be back when it's time to show you what I'm doing for my twist out. I'm back. Um, we're going to take this guy off. So, oh the leave-in is in my hair. When I tell y'all, my hair is, like, soft to the touch. Like, baby. She's soft to the touch. I never experienced this, so I, I'm very happy right now. That's fallout. It's my life. Okay, so I'm going to give you my reaction to the TGIN 
Curl Bomb Moisturizing Styling Gel. Just an FYI, it is Friday night. I worked until 8 p.m. It took me about two and a half hours to take my braids out. And I watched RuPaul's Drag Race. So it took me a while to get to this point. It is now midnight. And you can see she is sleepy. Bear with her. Okay, so to style, we are going to use the African Pride Moisture Miracle Curling Cream. This is not a staple, but oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. And so I'm excited to use it. This part has been here since I had my braids. I don't know if I should be concerned about that. But we have a side pad for a twist out. If I get it in exactly the right spot, I can do a slant. But to be on the safe side, we're just gonna do that. The reason that I section off this top part first is because I want to be able to um, really ensure that not only is my shape what I want it to be, but also I want to make sure this is wet without having to re-wet it. Also, the front of my head has the loosest curl pattern, so... It's usually the easiest section to do. I know most people say the nape of their neck is the easiest. Not her. Let the record show that my hair is not very wet. I will probably end up having to use my spray bottle a little bit. I don't want to use it a lot because I don't want to get rid of what my hair is naturally doing. So, in case you're wondering about that. That's that on that. Um, I don't care to necessarily use 100% pure natural product. I care more so that the product works and that my hair doesn't fall out. So right now, the back of my head is the most sensitive area. Almost as sensitive as the middle of my head, which is also a very sensitive area on my head. Um, the back is sensitive because... <laughs> If you watched a previous video, I talked about an instance when I was um, attacked by a significant other. And during that attack, he pulled my hair out. He pulled on my hair. And it caused at least three twists to fall out. So I have hair that's trying to grow back. And we're working with it, you know? We're working with it. So I'm going to take that much of the curling cream, distribute it evenly throughout the section. You can see these parts clearly. If I tried to pull the middle out, you would not be able to see as clearly. However, if you're wondering, just off the twisting cream and the leave-in, that's the definition we're getting. Not a lot, super frizzy, which is why we're going to go in with the gel. I've never used this gel before. I'm hoping, I'm praying that it is strong enough to give me some definition. If it is not, I will go and get the wet line. So I'll give you some first impressions. She thick. I like that smell. It smells fresh and clean like most gels should smell. I like it. And we're going to hit that open arrow. And we're going to pump because she's a pump. There she is. So it took 
two and a half squirts before she before she came out. Not bad. Okay, so I'm not scared of this gel at all. What do you think? Baby. I cannot tell a lie. I kind of like it. Um, it's thick and it has it gives you nice definition. Um, it's not as strong as I would like it to be. Like I don't think I'll have a cast when it dries. Um, so I'll probably have to retwist within the next two or three days. However. I like it. I like how it feels. I like how it defines. I like how it shines. And that being said, I will definitely use it again. Um, I will show you how much that I used. It was pretty much full to the top, so I'm going to show you how much I used. The twisting cream did wonders as per usual. Not a surprise. Grateful for that twisting cream. So as you can see, I did not I can probably get quite a few more uses out of this. I didn't use too many pumps. Less than 10 rows. For each row I did, I did one pump. Um it's a it's thick, so I didn't feel like I needed a lot. And I will be back to let you know how I feel after she dries. Hey guys, it's the next day. I am back. Um y'all see this i think i slept kind of crazy but beyond that do y'all see the shrinkage it's a lot it is a lot and um as i anticipated there's no cast from the tgin gel um so we'll see how long the hairstyle lasts i'm probably going to re-wet this and let it dry so now that I'm not laying down going to sleep I'll probably re-wet this and try to get it to behave and then tomorrow when I go to work I'm gonna take them down and you guys will be able to see that <clears throat> I was a little bit afraid that I would have some flaking and I don't know if you can see but when I go like that, it's definitely flaking. <laughs> She's flaking. But yeah, I'm a little stressed. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed um, in my hair because it's changing. <laughs> and I don't have time to learn its new, new life. Like, what I really want to do is take a, a shear and cut, 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 because. What is that? But I'm not going to just let the record show that I want to. Um, I really slept on these curls. Like, I slept on them. Like, some of them are flat. They didn't round out. They never had time to dry. There was... I don't know if you can see this, but... What was strong and juicy yesterday is dry and brittle today. This, that's not going to work. That, it's not going to work. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I got to make some decisions. Um, this is a definite yes for me. I will continue to use this. Um, <clears throat> off the smell alone, I'm in love. Um, it does smell like chemical, not chemical, but like, you know how um, like shampoos at the hair salon smell like 
they smell like chemical to me at least they don't smell like when you use like a natural product and it smells fresh like fresh fruit or like fresh whatever they're using oils you know so it's definitely giving me more hair salon so I definitely am not gonna use it on a regular but it's gonna be used because moisture this I'll definitely use again again the smell is floral it's light it doesn't stay with you and um, I like it there's no sulfates parabens phthalates B H D H A L A T E S and there's no silicones um, it's supposed to give you a frizz free hairstyle I'll be the judge of that um, and this said <clears throat> the instructions were to apply generously to damp hair from roots to ends leave on for up to 15 minutes rinse thoroughly with cold cool water and use weekly for more intensive treatment apply moderate heat so yesterday that's what I did I applied heat using my um, hot head and um, I'll probably alternate between the hot head and the hooded dryer just off the strength that I like to switch it up um, the jar is made of 100% recycled plastic uh, there are no dyes, there's no petroleum, and there's no mineral oil. Powered by nature, no damaging chemicals for natural curly textures. No complaints. It was, it was a great product. Um, would I repurchase? I don't know yet, but when I know, you'll know. Let's see how long this jar lasts. That's really what I want to see. And, you know, my styling products, I used Old Faithfuls. So, y'all already know the deal. Um, I think next time, I would have to combine this gel. At first, I didn't like that it came in a pump, but I, the pump is growing on me. It's quality, you know? It's, it's super thick. That's why I was really excited for it. And I did get a lot of definition. So that's why I was really excited for it. Um, yeah, so I'll be back. And I'll let you know how I'm feeling about my twist out. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I don't want to re-wet my whole head. I don't want to walk around with a wet head today. That's not. Because I could wet it and then puff it. I could puff it dry. Technically, but I don't, I don't want to. And I don't know if you can see, but it's not. It's not flaking. Right? Like, it's not dandruff. It just... Is it the best idea in the world to pick out hair that has gel in it? No. It's not. The amount of gel I would need to use and the amount of gel that I would like to use is zero.
gel up style since middle school. I'm scared. It's gonna bite me on this. For sure. But I am my mother's child and he used to do this hairstyle. Channeling Ricky Rodriguez energy. So to see how this goes and if I don't get full coverage of the donut then it's coming out there's a bun right and we're just gonna pray that It all sticks and stays and functions together. Um, I put some hairpins in the back. I don't know if that's working in my favor or not. I have work for six hours. So I'm just going to do this and we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so I'm back. Um, I went in the shower and let this kind of get mystified and steamified <sighs> baby it is dry boots and I really truly believe that it's that gel that made it dry because my hair is never dry after I use the moisture miracle um and it was so moisturized after the wash and the leave-in so um sorry TGIN I think it was your your uh your gel. I'm going to use different products and try the TGIN gel again and see if that makes a difference. But I don't even think I'm going to take these twists out. I think I might pop one away and keep it moving. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please don't forget to like and comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!